Well, it is 7.15 in the morning. Um, I'm here with my coffee. We are 14 minutes and 57 seconds away from the first images from JWST. <laughs> we actually got the first image yesterday. Um, here it is. It's the deep field. It's a galaxy cluster and thousands of galaxies beyond it. It's the deepest image of our universe taken in the infrared ever. We are seeing galaxies whose light has been traveling to us for 13 billion years. Um, I'll talk about it more later. I'll go more into depth with it, but we have it. And today we're getting more. We know what we're getting today. We're getting three images and one data set. Um, the images are of nebulas and other galaxies. The data set is the spectrum of an exoplanet, WASP-96b. <laughs> it's a really big day for the astronomy community. It's a day that is two and a half decades in the making. And this telescope, this marvel of engineering is one of the most impressive things that humanity has ever built. And it will show us the universe in a whole new light. And that starts today. I painted my nails, <laughs> like the calibration images that we've gotten. So that's kind of fun. And um, yeah, in, in 13 minutes and 14 seconds, I will be able to see these images and I will share them with you and share my reaction. Um, I don't know if I'm ready. I'm probably not. I, I am emotional about this. I'm oddly emotional about this because I didn't work on web directly and I am not really going to use JWST data in my research, but this means a lot for the astronomy community as a whole. And, um, uh, I'm ready. 12 minutes. I'm gonna finish this coffee and uh, I'll see you in 12 minutes and 26 seconds. So they're rolling out the images one by one over the course of the next hour, which I think is, is enough to, to break me. Um, they're starting with the deep field, which we've already seen. And as soon as we get another one. Um, yeah, I'm gonna look at it. <laughs> okay, so they did just show something new from that deep field image, and it's a spectrum. Um, we, we can see the composition of these galaxies, and it's a spectra of a galaxy that's 13.1 billion light years away. <laughs> it's the furthest galaxy we've ever gotten that sort of spectrum from. <laughs> Like this, these are some of the first galaxies that ever formed and we are getting an amazing amount of information. I didn't think we would have spectrum information from these galaxies. Why am I crying? Um, but we do. <laughs> so that's pretty incredible. And um, yeah, 13.1 billion years away this galaxy we are seeing it as it was only 700 million years after the big bang <laughs> okay i'm fine um the exoplanet is next so <laughs> i i <laughs> i did think i might cry so Live reaction after the exoplanet spectrum. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not an exoplanet scientist. This wasn't one that I was very excited about, but it is cool. What they found is water vapor, but they found less than they expected, which suggests that in this, what we previously thought was a cloud-free exoplanet, there are actually clouds, which is interesting. And <laughs> I will talk more about the implications of that, but um, let's get on to the pretty pictures. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> the place 
planetary nebula. It's so wow. beautiful. Okay, well, here we are. We have a near infrared image on our left. Or on in your right. <laughs> and oh here on the right, we have a near infrared image. Um, and so I'm here with Carl, our, our astronomer <sighs> uh, specialist. Can you tell us what we're looking at in these images? It's caused by a dying star that has dispelled a large fraction of its mass. And they have Over two images, one in near and far, <laughs> mid and far. Can we actually see those waves in these images? I'm going to go look at these <laughs> pictures in detail, but I wanted to capture my initial reaction too, which is this. Why am I crying? To the more carefully at both the near cam and near images. Oh my god, the galaxies! <laughs> So I lost the best. Well, I lost the best. Holy gorgeous shit. images. So oh my god, that's so, so beautiful. <laughs> Anything else you'd like to say today? <laughs> okay. Okay. That's fine. I'm fine. So they're at a bit of a pause in the um in the stream. So we are going to look at this image in depth. <laughs> So we have the same planetary nebula in the near infrared and the mid infrared. And the detail on this image is um, absurd. Oh my God, it is so beautiful. I really want this larger image to load. Holy shit. Look at the detail in this structure. And what you're seeing is background galaxy. This is a background galaxy. This is a background galaxy. This is a background. Now, something that's so cool is in the near infrared, so just barely out of the range of visible light you can see one star in the center but in mid infrared you can tell that there's actually two I... it's fine i'm fine look at this picture <laughs> Wow. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm fine. Um, this is the Southern Ring Nebula. It is a remnant of a dying star. Uh, essentially, this star pushed away its outer atmospheres. And that's what you're seeing here. It's the outer atmospheres of the star. And it's... um. Wow. So this, this is the image that we've gotten. It's a beautiful, beautiful image. Like really, really gorgeous. But compared to this. <laughs> so now we're about to get Stefan's Quintet. There it is. It's called Stefan's Quintet. Stefan's and Quintet. It's wondrous. Giovanna, Whoa. What are you looking at? Yeah, for like if a queen. It looks completely different in infrared. Galaxies are. Uh, okay. So. Uh, <laughs> they, uh, they're looking at the composition of gas around an active after, black hole. Uh, in different region uh, of the of this core area and understand the, the composition of the gas, the velocities. Um, the temperature, so that's very important to understand the physics. So oh, it's, it's giving us so much information, and it just shows the power. Okay, let's look at this. So what we're looking at here, hi Alex, is Stefan's Quintet, which is a group of five galaxies, and four of them are actually in the process of merging. You can see these two galaxies right here have essentially really begun that merging process and they're all dancing around each other and you get these really interesting tails of gas and stars that form because of all the gravitational interactions. <laughs> I need to hydrate. Wow.
what's really, really cool about this is how different it looks than the visible. So this is the same thing in visible light wavelengths. And you can see that we're seeing completely different structures of the galaxies because different things emit in infrared than they do in visible. You can see these trails in way more detail. All of this gas is showing up in the infrared. Not to mention, again, just how many background galaxies there are in every single one of these. <laughs> Listen, I'm not going to be the most communicative about this right now. I'm just admiring the beauty. Again, the detail. All right. <gasps> Last image is, wow, look at that. So Amber, can you, can you tell us a bit about what we're seeing here? Of course. Oh my the God. The vista of the cosmic cliff of the Carina Nebula reveals new details about this vast stellar nursery. <sighs> Today, for the first time, we're seeing brand new stars that were previously Sorry, my friend is texting you. Wow. Okay. The last image, the Carina Nebula. Holy, this is so beautiful. <laughs> so, right, this is a star forming region. This is a region of gas and dust that collapses to form stars. And with JWST, we are able to see hundreds more stars in this region than we did with Hubble because infrared views can kind of see through some of that gas and dust. The detail and the beauty <laughs> is really, really amazing. You can see where some of these new stars are forming and blowing holes in the gas from the strong winds they're producing. As always, we have background galaxies. <laughs> the detail along this ridge. Now compare that to Hubble. Here's Hubble's image, which is a beautiful, beautiful image. <laughs> it doesn't compare to this though. We are going to learn so much more about these star forming regions. There's things in here like these structures, how do they form? We don't really know. And then in the mid infrared, which looks spooky, I love it, but you can actually see the protoplanetary disks, the regions where planets are forming around the new stars, all of the pink and red regions in here, these little regions, that's dust the dust around stars that's going to form planets. So we're seeing star formation and planet formation. And it's just a beautiful, beautiful image. Oh, wow. Wow. So, the, so there you go. I did cry several times. <sighs> These pictures are astounding and gorgeous. And this is the first set of data that we're getting. We're gonna get so much more. It's fine, I'm fine. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching me cry <laughs> and um, seeing these beautiful images of the universe because 